Hello everyone and welcome back to Viking Conquest. We just successfully took over the fort of Gobhan and the campaign was over. So now I'm kind of left alone to do whatever. So we're going to go kill some people. Because that's what we do. Your luck has run out. Prepare to die. And by prepare to die, I mean wait for my troops to run across this battlefield. Whoa. These are some new trees. You've walked into a grim fairy tale. You know what? This is probably going to be easier if I just do everyone follow me. And we need to rest. Let our stamina get back up. Is high the highest? <laughs> so weird to see all the trees moving at the same... That's just weird. It doesn't really make them look more real, it just... I don't know. See every tree just swinging around as if it's trying to dance. It's doing the Groot dance. Oh, we see them now? Excellent. Archers, let's have you just stay there. Infantry will just go like that. Spearmen go like that. I'm gonna just chuck my spear. Ah! Hmm. Oh, close. Now we just kind of let our ranged people do their thing. Throw that sling! You guys are not killing fast enough. Let's move you up. Move you up. Move the archers over here. Actually, let's flank these guys from this side. They're not gonna move. Now we can get them to face us over here so that the archers don't have to hit their shields. And they're running. Get him. Oh, 
Oh no. No, they're so fast. You have no cav? Alright, well. We'll just have to wait for them to get to the edge of the map, I guess. I am going to be honest with all of you out there. I'm not really enjoying this this DLC that much. I don't know, just like the combat, I, I'm just not as enjoying as much. Really, there's nothing about this I think that I'm enjoying that much. I've had a lot more fun with uh, most of the mods that I've played. Prophecy of Pindor, Floris mod, which is great. More sort of Conquest. Those are all great mods. And I think in better shape than this game. I don't know, maybe just have to get used to it. Maybe I also don't really like the setting, I guess. Um, can't capture anybody still. Ruffian. Sure, let's hire a ruffian and a slave driver. The slave driver calf? No. Okay. Let's share the loot. Share the load. We have to make it back to a town to sell all this stuff. I guess back there? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, just the, the bugs in the game, the setting of the game, I'm not super into. And then the combat I'm not really super into. So I don't think the series is going to last much longer. Uh, and I apologize if some of you out there are enjoying the series, but... I don't know, I just, I can't play a game that I'm not really enjoying because then my videos suck. Because it's basically me sounding like this, like I don't want to play the game. Uh, let's go and trade the locals. Let's redeem our battle trophies. Coveted goods, exchange them for money and experience. Yeah, sure, we got some money. I didn't even know we had a battle trophy. Whatever the heck that is. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, in this setting, everyone looks like they're just dressed up like peasants. Some people have mail, but, I mean, that's just the time of the... that this takes place, and it just... I just don't like the look. It doesn't really... scream out awesome to me. Like, I would never buy this in any of the other Mount Blade games. I'm like, that looks like crap. I don't know. Let's see if we can sell these slaves. A Sphia warrior. Didn't even care. Noble. Okay. Happy Widow. Nope, we don't need one of those. How much money do I have now? Since I just bought these Sphere Warriors. That's fine. Let's find some more Vikings to kill. Or something. Gathering for a feast, okay. Here we go, Norwegian Vikings. Prepare to die. Alright, everyone, follow me. So, there is a option in the camp menu that says prevent the AI from using defensive actions. I was hoping that would... I think I mentioned this before, didn't I? How I would hope it would make the AI rush towards us. Wait, we're already stringing up the boat. Are they coming at us? What are you firing at? 
Oh no, this is just a smaller map. Okay. Alright, Archer's there. And Infantry will flank around the side to give the Archers an easier time. Hello, dude. You weren't fast enough, man. Not fast enough. Okay. So I'm guessing if I don't really enjoy this one, I probably shouldn't play the uh, Brint... Was it Brintwalda? Isn't it set in the same exact period? Like, isn't this basically that mod, but just official... Like, officially endorsed by the people who made this game? Um, what's that company called? Can't remember off, off the hand. Or offhand. East Ingle against Northumbre, okay. Ha! <laughs> No, you're not gonna make it like that, dude. You need to walk around this this mountain. Ah, uh, is this another monster? I'll tell you what. Let's pillage the monastery. Why not? Might as well do that before we stop playing this game. Let's see what that's like. Okay. I mean, what are the mon monks going to do? I'm kind of surprised we even have this kind of battle screen. Is it just us going to kill monks? Like, is that what we're going to be doing here? Are they going to fight us? Really? Huh. I'm kind of shocked. Slaughtering monks, that's what this is. 
Viking Conquest. Monk slashing and killing simulator. I can capture monks. Jewelry, silver, okay. Blood and treasure. Those of uh, your men with fewer scruples are sent towards Ad Candina Kasim, killing anyone in their path and plundering its riches. The fire and death sweeping the place are rampant. You plunder spoils of war worth 1,800 pennings. The majority of your troops is pagan and supports your actions. <laughs> Take that, random monastery. Oh, this... <laughs> this choppiness also has just grated on me. Oh, you know what? I should probably finish this quest, too. The Hadrian Wall wanting... The um, sacks of wheat. We don't want to leave them hungry. Do you have wheat? Hmm. Not enough. Well. Maybe they will go hungry. That's fine, just pay whatever you can. There is another town to the south of us. Way down here. Jorvik. Hmm. Still not enough. Yeah, too short. Darn it. Okay, head back. Maybe... One of these little towns. Nope. Okay, border incident, don't care. Hmm. Look, I'm trying to feed the people of Hadrian's Wall here. Game, come on, help me out. The days get longer and the bony grip of winter loosens. Green leaves crown the trees once more. Oh, cool. Is there another town I can go to? I guess we can go up there. I gotta finish this one quest. There we go. More than enough. Okay. Don't worry, Hadrian's Wall people. I will not leave you until you're fed. Wait, what? It's late at night and your men need some rest. Come back in the morning. What? There we go. Thank you, we are poor and cannot offer more than our friendship, but whenever you come here, you will be welcome. Moreover, I'll give you one of my sons to serve you as a soldier. He is strong and a brave boy. 
Time to go to the pack up and join you when you leave this place. Thank you so much, Krishna. You saved our lives. Okay. Is that a sp special person? Companion? Is that who we just got? I'm guessing? Cool. Oh wait, your men have noti notified you that someone is here to visit you, Zelenki so boy, looking happy. Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, thought it would be a named person. Salve, warlord, my name is... Kai, Kaio. My father sent me. Yes or no? Warlord, I'm the youngest son of the man known as the Old Roman. As you know, my family's legend in this area, they are. We preserve the history of our ancestors who patrolled Hadrian's Wall. I personally am a very fine tracker, the best tracker around any, as my mission has always been to protect my family. Okay. Thank you. I've ridden over fair amounts of rough country in my time more often than not in a hurry. I'm a good tracker and I've got a good eye for terrain, a meat and beer. Sure. Welcome to the party, my friend, my tracking friend. 10 athletics, holy crap, this person's fast. Okay, so you know what? It's probably gonna do it for this uh, series right now, everybody. I may come back to it in the future, maybe after some patches. Things get smoothed out a little bit if that ever does happen, but I don't know. Let me know how you feel about the mod. Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Do you think there's... <laughs> I said mod, didn't I? Uh, DLC. <laughs> how do you enjoy this DLC? Do you feel that there are that the uh, mods out there are better than this game? Let me know your, uh, your opinion. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all in another series. Another time. Take care.